Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am back with my Nvidia Shield Android TV and I want to show you ROM Flix. ROM Flix is a pretty cool emulation front end. Before we get started here, I want to let you guys know that I am not affiliated with ROM Flix whatsoever. I am just a end user and I want to show you how this thing performs. I'm not going to go into great detail on it, but if you want to grab it, I will leave a link down below to the Team ZT Facebook page and you can go over there. There's tons of information on it. If you're interested, head over there and check it out. So there's two ways to install this. I'm going to be installing it through Kodi and I'm using a Team ZT build of Kodi or you can grab the APK. I'm just going to head over to system ZT wizard APK installer ROM flicks beta. We're just going to download it real quick. Click download. Yes, we want to install and we're going to open it up. So here we have step one, step two, and step three. We have to run all three steps, but we need to make sure each step is completed before we go on to the next one. I'm gonna run step one. I'm gonna fast forward this. Step one is complete. We're gonna go to step two. We're gonna click install. It's gonna install ROM flicks for us. Click done. Now we need to go to step three. Step three is done. Click OK. Now we can go to exit. I'm going to press my home button. Now we're going to open up ROM Flix. So like I said at the beginning, I am not affiliated with ROM Flix whatsoever. This video is for educational purposes only. ROM Flix is an emulation front end that allows you to easily add your ROMs. So as you can see, it supports several systems, Atari 2600, 7800, Lynx, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Famicom, Nintendo 64, Mega Drive, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, MAME, you got favorites and settings. So in each of these menus, there's a little hidden menu. If you go to, let's say Game Gear and press down, we can add our own ROMs. There's a folder called games in the root file system of our Android device. We can add our games there. So if we want to add Game Gear, you're going to create a Game Gear folder. Put all your Game Gear games in there. Then you're going to add ROMs. And you're going to scan for new ROMs. We're going to head over to settings. Press down. Tools. From here, we need to install an emulator. For this video, I'm only going to do Game Gear, so I'm going to go to Romflix Emulator Installer. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to install RetroArch 1.6.3. From here, we're going to click Done and we're going to back up. So there's some other options in here, like the Romflix downloader. I'm not gonna go into detail in this video. If you want more information, head over to the Team ZT Facebook page. This option will allow you to easily install your games and artwork. Now we're just gonna back out of here, and I've already added some games to Game Gear. I'm just gonna press down, add ROMs, scan for new ROMs. I'm gonna back out, back out, Added 249 games to my Game Gear collection here. And we're going to enter the Game Gear section. As you can see, we have some box art. And when we go into one of these games, we'll go into Alien 3. We get a little description of the game itself with some box art. I'm going to start the game just by pressing A on my controller. We are now playing Alien 3 for the Game Gear. So Romflix is pretty easy to set up. There's a lot more settings inside of Romflix than I went over in this video. If you're interested in setting this up, I'll leave links to the Team ZT website and Team ZT Facebook group. Everything you need to know is there. Just go ahead and kill this alien real quick. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Like I said, there's so much more involved in ROM flicks than I showed in this video. You can get all the information you need from the links down below.
If you guys could hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.